Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. It started today's video. We've got a banger video hopefully today. So we're a couple of games away from Masters. I believe if we get to, we will be able to get it. Hopefully, if the ELO's in our favor. But yeah, our stream was a banger. If you missed it, make sure to check it out. So essentially, we kind of forget about that game right there. But I played so many Hank games and got so many good clips. So again, it was an all-timer stream. Make sure to check it out. But yeah, we're going to be trying Hank. I mean, if we're not going to force it though, like we did on stream, but let's just try and get Masters. All right, guys, jumping into the first game then. So I had such a good rico game on excel but now we have ring of fire so in terms of the bans we definitely need to ban ban angelo 100 percent hopefully we ban charlie and melody as well those are the three typical bans you go for every single time i'm glad people have quickly picked up how broken these brawlers are i mean larry's definitely the least toxic out of all of them but it's still larry and laurie i'm still just salty about it so in terms of this i'm not gonna force the hank pick anymore i know i really really want to but I get, like i've played it too much today let's try something maybe a little bit off meta but it's still sweaty so filippo is a pro he knows what to go he's literally one of the best players in the world so we should be able to win this game on paper pretty easily let's just say that so it just depends what he goes i'll just react to whatever he picks he's got one second left and he goes with the amber which is of course a pretty good pick overall and into a bell um Let's see, what could we go into Bell? We kind of need to go mid. I'm not sure what the mid is going to be. Ah, uh, not Brock. 8-bit, no. Pam. Should we go Pam? Let's go Pam. Let's go Pam. You can never go wrong with Pam. And we still have late pick, so we can definitely counter them. Pam's not the best into Bell, but it's decent. I was thinking of like Piper, but Piper's not really that great in Ring of Fire. I was thinking of Meg, but then they could definitely counter me with Meg with like Jesse and something else. So actually Meg's banned anyway. So I think Pam was a decent pick overall. Okay, they go with a lose. So that's that's bad. Lose a great counter pick to Pam. I don't think I'm gonna have a good Oh and a Stu. This really isn't gonna be doing well. I mean if I was him, I would go for something a bit more adventurous. And then just a Jesse. Low key, I'd go like a Miko or something, but they go to Spike. I mean, Spike is pretty good against this, to be fair. Is there any better option? I don't think I need the extra gear against this. I think I'll go with Heal instead. Um, I'm going to squeeze. I mean, I might get value out of it if, like, Stu pushes up. Probably the Heal stop out would be better if it actually healed you, but that's okay. We're going to go with Mama. Big Mama J. If you guys know that then you're a true og right it's gonna be tough I, I feel like i'm gonna have a disaster class in this game it's my fault i picked pam okay poo spike poo spike op i think i've played with a spike before and i can't remember if i won all i think oh I, we, I think we had this exact team on stream so maybe we can run it back i think we drew it though so let's get revenge right the thing is i hate facing against the mid when they have this speed zone for it like it's just so annoying so toxic Filippo should be able to get a kill onto Stu of course he does because he's a goat now Lou's gonna have super I'm gonna remove all his ammo though so he can't take me down beautiful we actually won that interaction that's crazy that is crazy so now we're gonna work with a pinch Pam down the lane this is just how good of a Pam we are we're gonna push forward as much as possible here I think Lou's just going to try and walk in an auto aim, but again, we can remove his ammo, throw the turret onto him, shoot left, because that's where we're going to go. I deal no damage because he's probably got hyperthermia as well. I've got no gadgets left, but as, as long as we can keep the aggro going, we're good, all right? We're good. This Lou is hitting nothing. Bro, are you okay? You have to really walk into my face to um deal damage. How haven't we hit him then? There, beautiful, beautiful. I mean, oh, this, this is such a good game. I put, we're literally all over them. Filippo's going to oil them up. I don't know what bro is doing on the loot. Why is he wasting so many supers on me? He should be focused on the zone pretty much all the time. Okay, bell hype, hype charge. We'll just take this to the face. Why not? Uh, can we survive that? Doesn't even matter. Filippo will just go up instead. And then we'll run up ourselves here. We've got another Pam turret, so let's just throw it in the loot's face. And that's pretty much going to be GG there. Can we survive? Oh, so close. Beautiful. That was such a clean game. I just love Pam games. It's just something about this brawler. I'm just able to lock in. I think it's just the beefiness of Pam. Like, she's just so thick. 
and it just makes me focus up. You know, I literally was... Oh, I was going to say I was the first person in the world to get your mom title, but I was actually the second, okay? The second person in the world to get your mom as a mastery title. If that's not goat things, I don't know what is. Alright, now we're against the Lou in the mid again. He had a disaster class the first game, so... I feel like I can actually be pretty aggressive with him. Just keep the jukes up and we're good. So again, it's going to be annoying speed zoner, but I guess with Pam we can kind of... Get some chip shots in anyway. Right, good start from Urz. About to get turret real soon. And use this to pretty much kill our mech here. Come on, he's so weak. Let's tank for our turret. Nice, gonna pop gadget as well. On the loo. Probably a bit of a late gadget to be fair, but all is good. I don't know why he's pushing he's pushing down the lane so much. Like he's a loo. He should just be focused fully on the mid. Like only the mid. His super should be only the mid. Etc. Etc. So we're good right now. I mean, look, Spike's doing his thing. Like I'm not really noticed Spike do anything bad. So as long as he's not throwing, he's doing his thing overall. Try not to feed too many loose supers here. He is kind of getting a few clips on it so sneakily. Good pressure from Filippo here. I'm gonna push up instead. Try and get into this Bell's face. Bit of a miss gadget here, but as long as I'm getting some good pressure, that's good. And I've not fed another loose super, so that is also good. He's going to get melted by that bell hypercharge though. The unfortunate thing is with our comp, we've only got Spike as a hypercharge, but... I st How has Filippo survived there? That was crazy. Like, he was... There was just... There was just so much on him. And he was able to survive. Right, close to another Pam as well. Speed zone is so annoying. Thankfully, Spike has got rid of it. Just going to sit on our turret for a little bit here. Get some extra heals. Again, I don't know why Lou is flanking around. He's wasting so much time here. Like, maybe... The I don't know, Stu should be the one flanking, not a loop. Again, another turret. They just can't deal with the heals. Oh, no, he's one shot. That could come back to bite us. Please. It doesn't matter. Time to... Oh, no, not time to go up just yet. That, the double freeze? Please, can we survive this? No. The bell mark was too much. We've literally done nothing this game. Filippo has just carried us the entire time. But it doesn't matter. Just 7% left. We can just run onto the zone. Filippo's just going to do it all by himself. And that's going to be a big dub. Let's see how much elo we're away from getting this Masters. Let's have a look. Got a feeling it's not going to be a lot. Okay, that is a lot. We're actually like one game away from getting Masters here. Let's jump into it. All right, guys. Jumping into the second and hopefully the final game to get Masters. I feel like it's just written. Hugo, he's a good player. I've played with him a few times. I had some good success rate with him before. It's gonna ban the Hank. Okay, he's just trolling there. He knows that I've been playing a lot of Hank. I don't, I'm not gonna put it out and pit stop. Again, like, I wanna try and play Hank on the good maps and the good scenarios, so it doesn't seem like I'm just throwing. But it is just literally unwinnable. Unwinnable if I pick Hank here. So, one brawl of us actually really underrated here is Griff. If you watch my stream, Griff on Hot Zone with Business Resilience, he can just out heal the poison. And just keep top top all the time. I, I told you guys anyways with my video about the modifiers. That any brawler with any type of healing mechanic is going to just get indirectly better. So they're going to go with ball. Which is fair enough. I might respond with like a BB or just another aggro pick. Again as aggro as possible. And we should be looking good. I know ball can be good into BB. But it's just BB. BB is insane on pit stop. So let's have a look. Amber. Amber is a terrible pick. Not too sure why they've gone with the Amber. Uh, is he going to go Primo as well? I feel like if we go BB Primo, we're just going to run all over them. So I'm going to go BB. He's going to go Primo, I guess. Yeah, I think Primo would be a good pick. Three tanks. I mean, they could have Colette, Shelly, or any brawler like that. Okay, they go with Cordelia. I mean, Cordelia is a good brawler as well. Definitely a good brawler. But I mean, if they, have, if they get El Primo... They're still just stuck on defense a lot of the time. The only bull is their outlet. Amber's not going to be able to defend enough. I think we've got a really good draft here. Like, okay, Char. Like, they should have gone with... Who would I have gone? I think I would have gone with El Primo. Just because he counters me. He probably counters Melody as well. Charlie's going to be annoying for us to face. But Cordelius is definitely going to be better than um, Amber on defense, for example. So Hugo tries to swap with me, but... I don't know, I'm so locked in on, on uh, BB. My mindset, I want to play with 4 BB. It's such a goated skin. So let's get this dub. Just one game away from Masters. Let's try and close it out, please. 
I beg. I just want to get the masters over and done with at this point. It's been too long. That's okay. We can just run into these guys. They're just going to let me on a safe, okay? I don't know why they'll just let me on a safe like that. We'll just keep going. Hopefully, my team can defend this. It's pretty risky to do it like that. You know, I'm going to pop gadget. Just to get me, like, fully healed up with the shield. Yeah, there we go. Okay, the defense is not going too well. And I feel like we're going to lose this one. Yep. <sighs> I really thought, like, we're facing Charlie and Amber. I feel like my teammates could have done I guess Melody isn't the greatest on defense, is she? I don't know. I feel like we can outbase race them, so I, I don't know. I don't really know with that one. I guess I'll just try and pinch a little bit here. Let's try and help with the Amber. Oh, bro. I didn't expect that gadget. I don't know what it was. It's okay. Let's just run away from Amber Lane. Oh, actually, no, we can't run away from Amber Lane, can we? Because she's got that gadget. That gadget can deal a lot of damage. So let's push forward with our gadget here. Get Amber down. We can get Charlie down as well. We can line this super up. Beautiful. Get more damage on a safe. Be really careful with BB because sometimes when you align a super, it actually glitches a little bit. So, gotta be careful with that. Managed to get the kill there onto Bull. I'm just gonna sit behind this wall, try and force this Amber to use super. We do manage to juke it in time. Beautiful. Right. We need to lock in right now. Let's lock in. Beautiful from Cordelius. Now let's pop our hype charge onto the Charlie here. Bro. No, I auto-aim too much. Too much auto-aim. Right, Melody, just go, bro. Just go. Just go. Just fly up. It's okay. You can't defend. Just go up, bro. Just go up. Please. We need some pressure. Go up. Thank you. Right. I don't think it's Amber knows. Does the Amber know? Beautiful. Again, I just feel like... We're just stuck on defense too much here, which is unfortunate, but that's okay. We've got to defend for our lives. Right, we know there's a ball here. Let's try and bait it out. Amber super, it's not looking good, is it? It is not looking good. Come on, ball, just please. Okay, good, got a good super there. Ah, but it's a hype charge, Charlie. Maybe I can defend this. Right, let's go, let's just go. Let's just run. As much pressure as possible. Oh no. Hypercharge ball. This is not good. We're going to rely on that. Uh, I don't know. I come back to defend, but I don't think that's going to be enough. Come on. No, there's no way. Uh. Why? Why is it every time I'm one game away from Masters this happens? I don't know. I, I felt like the decision making from Melody was terrible. You guys were trying to flame me in the comments, but... I've, like Melody was trying to defend too much. Just get on this safe. That's what you got to do as a Melody. Just literally run at them. They're going to spend the whole time defending. I feel like their composition definitely shouldn't work. Oh, that's, that's annoying. But at least I can try and get Masters on our stream today. So uh, tomorrow. So that's going to be it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.